Good evening, everyone. Welcome uh, to the first meeting of 2024. This is the January meeting of the Village of Tibley Board of Trustees, and I invite you to join me to uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a light agenda tonight. Um, you, if you had a chance, there's an agenda uh, and a sign-in sheet on the corner of the bench here. Um, we will move into the Village Clerk's Report. Clerk Bruno, please. Uh, the past month, there were 461 trash tags that were sold. Two payrolls were processed by Treasurer Day. Uh, the Deputy Clerk has um, been in for a couple of hours uh, in the office to help out. And um, coming up for February, the clerk's office will be closed on Monday, February 19th, to observe President's Day. Thank you. Uh, trustees, we have a single set of minutes in your binders. This was our December 20th regular meeting minutes. We've had a chance to review those earlier today. Is there a motion to accept the minutes? Mm -hmm. And a second? Second. Uh, that was major, followed by Baldino. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Moving on to the treasurer's report. Uh, this month, out of the general fund, we spent $47,869.38. That is also our grand total, uh, $47,869.38. Is there a motion to accept the treasurer's report? So moved. And a second? Second. That was Schilling followed by Mangiri. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, is there a motion to pay the bills? Someone. Those uh, major, or excuse me, Mangiri, followed by Baldino. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, moving on to a zoning report. Trustee Schilling, please. Okay. Building permits reviewed four. Building permits issued three. Complaints two. Complaints investigated two, zoning property maintenance violations two, appearance tickets zero, municipal searches one, inspections eight. Thank you, Bill. Uh, at this time in our agenda, we ask for public comment on agenda items only, and then there'll be public comment again at the end. Seeing none, we will move right into it. Um, first, we will be uh, adopting the 2024 holiday schedule, which I will read here. Uh, Monday, January 1, New Year's Day. January 15, Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. February 19, President's Day. May 27th, Memorial Day. June 20th, Juneteenth. Thursday, July 4th, Independence Day. September 2nd, Labor Day. Uh, October 14th, Eleanor Roosevelt Human Rights Day in Tivoli. Uh, November 11th, Veterans Day. November 28th and 29th, Thanksgiving. And uh, December 25th, Christmas. Is there a motion to accept the holiday schedule? Hello. Okay, that was uh, major, followed by me and Jerry. All in favor? Aye. All right. Uh, and our second item tonight is we have a budget modification. Um, we have two expenses that the board is going to uh, pay for with our uh, ARPA funds, American Rescue Plan. Uh, that is uh, $2,237.64, which was related to our heating emergency last month. That is for one month of renting temporary heater. And um, uh, while we had uh, actually resolved to use uh, 6450 from the ARPA allocation to do the elevator repair, which we did September, perhaps. Um, we never, August, close. Um, we, we never actually did the budget modification and, and moved the money. So uh, we have here a budget modification resolution in the total amount of $8,687.64 uh, that will be moved out of our ARPA funds into the building's budget line. Is there a motion to adopt the budget modification? Move. And a second? Second. second. Uh, it was uh, Baldino followed by Mangieri. Any further discussion? Uh, a roll call, Deputy Mayor Major? Aye. 
Trustee Baldino? Aye. Trustee Schilling? Aye. Trustee Mangieri? Aye. And I also vote aye. And the budget mod uh, is adopted. Our next board meeting will be held Wednesday, February 21st at 7 o'clock here at the historic Whites to Paster Hall, preceded by a workshop at 6 p.m. And we have our regular workshop on, is that Valentine's Day? February 14th? Oh, the romance. 2024 at 6 p.m. Uh, moving into committee reports, uh, Trustee Schilling, please. I really don't have much to say this month. Okay, I think it's going to be light for all of us. Uh, Trustee Baldino. Uh, this month, the total money collected and remitted to the state controller, $1,675 in fines, $200 in surcharges, zero in civil fees for a total of $1,875. Thank you, Peter. Um, we did not receive a police report this month, although I reached out this afternoon, so we'll have that for you next month. Okay. Um, Deputy Mayor. Um, well, Coming up is one of my favorite nights of the year, which is Soup Night at Historic River. And that's not because your dog. And it's not just because my dog's name is Soup. Um, so January 27th, 5.30 to 7.30. And for anyone who doesn't know about Soup Night, uh, it's really great. You go to Historic River at Gilmendorf, and you buy your ticket, and um, there are a whole bunch of different kinds of soups made by members. And you get to choose two soups, and you hang out and have soup and bread, and you know, have some beverages with your neighbors. It's lovely. So uh, you could go online to historicredhook.org to get tickets for that. And if you plan to go, do get tickets because this is not only my favorite event. Um, lots of people love it. Okay, and can you repeat that date? That time, is please? January twenty seventh, five thirty to seven thirty. Um, as far as um, f other fun things at historic sites, this Saturday from 1 to 2, there's a New Year story, uh, story hour for kids at Claremont. And uh, the theme is that it's a new year, so there's going to be stories about new beginnings. Um, also a good idea to go online and sign up for that. Uh, go to Friends of Claremont. So that's this Saturday from 1 to 2. And... This year we have some snow, which is awesome. So um, get your sled and go down to Montgomery Place. It's um, a really good historic site for sledding. Not quite as death-defying as Olana. Um, it's fun. It's just good, clean fun. Fun events at the library, right downstairs here, Tivoli Free Library. Um, Dungeons and Dragons, gentle yoga. Uh, story time with Miss Crystal. Bring your kids on Tuesdays at 10:30 in the morning, uh, and nothing is better uh, in the winter than crafting. So hooks and needles, yarns and thread. 10:30 is on Thursday, third floor here. Um, bring your crocheting, your knitting, your rug hooking. Have some uh, crock you know, pot. Crock pot deliciousness. deliciousness. Yeah, and uh, and you know just craft away. Mm, yeah, Tivoli Bay's it's cold, but the ticks are not out, so, <laughs> no, they weren't, they weren't Well, because they got week. cold, they were out, yeah, last exactly. week they were a lot if, of if you don't want to be cold, you know, if you don't want to be out because it's so damn cold, it means the ticks aren't either, so go ahead, get out there and enjoy it. Tick free living, bundle up. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Um, let's see, well, the loop bus, right Jeanette? Woo! So, we're all very excited that, uh, since we were here a month ago, uh, Dutchess County has decided to restore uh, the funding to Route C and also actually tweak the schedule uh, just a little bit, uh, hoping to improve it. Uh, instead of eight runs, there are going to be nine. Uh, there used to be a midday gap of about four hours, and they've spread out the runs such that they'll be, I think, no longer gapped in two hours. Uh, that new schedule is going to go into effect in June, I believe. Um, so. Very, very happy about that. Um, you know, a lot of people uh, participated in like achieving this, engaging with county officials, um, you know, the local electeds, uh, many, many members of the public, um, Bard College. So all of us up here in uh, the northern corner of the county uh, spoke up and uh, gratefully we were heard by the county and the county executive. And so that is a lot of good news. So. Um, 
Yes, it seems for now our, our heating emergency in this building uh, is hopefully behind us. It has actually gotten quite cold out as you noticed and uh, things are a lot warmer uh, in Village Hall uh, presently. Um, and because it got cold, our magnificent volunteer and um, Tibley Fire Department, so that would be Matt Kajuski and the Tibley Fire Department, have set up the Tibley Skating Rink uh, a couple days ago. Um, it's not open yet. The ice is not fully frozen. And although we have a sign over there, I want to keep reminding everyone, I sent out an email last today, please do not disturb the forming ice because if you mess it up, we're not going to have a nice ice rink. So uh, we will let you know as soon as it's ready for skating, which hopefully will be by this weekend. And uh, we look forward to that. And I can't thank uh, Matt Krajewski enough. Uh, he was actually out there setting it up on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And if you remember those uh, snow squalls, it was pretty, um, it was blowing hard. So, but he's a hockey guy. And he loves his ice. He loves his ice. So uh, look forward to the rink, uh, but please, Let's all stay off the ice, and if you see any um, ignorant or malicious person interfering with the ice, tell them to knock it off. Um, also, because we're in the middle of winter and we have had some snow, I want to remind everyone about the winter parking ordinance that uh, you're not allowed to park on the streets, any street in the village, from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. between November 15th <coughs> and April 1st. Uh, you can be ticketed, and if we're in the act of cleaning up snow, uh, towed. <coughs> Uh, if you don't have off-street parking where you live, uh, come in and get a village parking permit for 25 bucks for the season from the village clerk, and you have access to uh, uh, four municipal lots. Um, compliance has been mixed. It happens every year. Uh, we did do quite a round of ticketing recently, but we've still got um, uh, people who aren't complying, and it makes it very hard for the guys to do their plowing, sanding, and particularly if you like your side view mirrors, why not get your car off the street? Because right? accidents happen when it's icy. Um, related to that, we also have an ordinance about clearing your sidewalks 24 hours after a snowfall. So uh, please do that. You know, the last storm melted pretty quickly. This snow is here and it's sticking around. So uh, it's only going to get harder to clear off every uh, property owner is responsible for the sidewalk uh, in front of their home and we really would appreciate your cooperation. And additionally, if you have a fire plug nearby, shovel out that hydrant, uh, a three, inch, three foot diameter around. Uh, it would really be appreciated by the fire department and it might help them take care of your home and property, uh, God forbid. So, um, I want to tell you about the wonderful uh, food and clothing drive that we had last Saturday here at Village Hall. Uh, this was our second annual. I was joined by um, nine or ten wonderful first-year students from Bard um, who are volunteering as part of um, Bard College's uh, MLK uh, Day of Service where uh, the first-year students who come back a little early, they have to do, I learned a lot from them, sit -sci, citizen science, it's like a crash course on science literacy. <laughs> and in addition to doing that before the upperclassmen return, they have to uh, choose a number of off-campus uh, volunteering opportunities. So um, I hope the ones who chose the Tivoli Food Drive uh, had the best time. But um, thank you so much to everyone who donated. We did really, really well. We got actually more stuff than last year. Um, the food uh, is going to Red Hook Responds and for their food pantry. And the clothing is going to the uh, clothes closet at the Red Hook Community Center. So we're always happy to be working with those organizations and uh, you know there are always lots of needy people in our area and it's just uh, it was a lot of fun and it also just feels really really good to see the community coming together uh, you know some people clearly went to the grocery store bought new stuff it wasn't like the can of beans from the back of the cupboard uh, and the same thing with the clothing we got lots of brand new clothing that people had bought and just brought in so um, a really nice event and I already communicated with uh, Cicely Wilson over at Bard about nice. doing it again next year. All right, we'd like to open it up to public comment on any topic. I really would like to thank you for the time and energy you spent involving yourself in the meetings regarding the day and the past. You are very welcome. And, um, it took everybody to do it. Legislator Munn did a lot. Um, Brennan, Brennan Kiernan and Village Rhinebeck 
Um, and yeah, a lot of administrators over at Bard, and of course, many, many members of the public. So it was democracy in action here in Dutchess County, which was really great. Anything else, trustees? No, that is not set. That's set amongst us, but not. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'll give a little teaser. So the village board, we had a forum on SDRs a year ago. We've been back working on that topic and also folding in accessory dwelling units. Uh, we are. I'm likely to make an announcement in the next two weeks about a forum uh, that would be in February sometime. Um, so look for that. We are uh, working up a draft law um, that would, uh, the goals are to encourage housing in the village, um, encourage uh, affordability, and uh, we will be putting that forward uh, in February, having one of our Tivoli forums. You'll recall we had one on chickens and we've had one on cannabis, and uh, this is a chance for everyone to come in. Uh, we'll get the copy of the legislation out as well as some sort of cliff notes because there's no way to avoid the complexity of this issue, and especially because we're doing STRs and ADUs together. But we're typically, we can handle sophistication, we can handle complexity, so we're going to take our time. <laughs> we're going to take our time and, and uh, think very carefully about these topics um, and hopefully arrive at uh, some new code in the village um, by the spring on that topic. So uh, keep your eyes out for the village email blast um, with more about that. Uh, anything else from the board of trustees? I don't think so. No. Okay, not quite the record, but a pretty, pretty light one. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? I move. And a second? Okay. All right, Major followed by Baltino. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you everyone for being here, and we are adjourned.